Hello guys, this is Nikhil Bansal and I'm from Illuminate Mind. So today we are going to do this problem which says find the highest power of each of the prime factors of the number. For example, this. So I need to input, I need to find out the prime factors first of all and the highest power of each of the prime factors in the number. Correct. So we need to write the code for this thing. So the first thing is identification of prime factors that we have already we are already done with. So we already have a program in our playlist which tells me how to find out the prime factors. Again, we'll discuss on this. So how to identify prime factors? That's one thing. So I will run the loop, obviously not from 1 to 48 or not till from 1 to 48 by 2. I will run the loop from 1 to under root of 48. Now when I will run the loop and I will try to divide the number each of these numbers with let's say 48 so whatever the loop iteration value is 48 by i right from 1 to 2 from 2 to this thing correct when i will do that i will be able to identify whether the number is a factor of 48 or not that's one part of the thing second part is now if it is a factor whether it's a prime or not so we need to check on two things one is that the number is prime within this range and the second thing is whether the number is a factor of the inputted number or not. So we will check this thing once. Once we have identified that the number is a factor, then we will move to a, another part of the program. We can define a function and call function whenever it is needed, where we will try to find out how we will try to find out the highest power of each of the prime factors. Now, how we are going to do this? Now I will let's say store. The number, the inputted number, this number that the user will input in some variable, let's say d, and I will keep on dividing d by the prime factor for which I am trying to find out the highest power. So let's say 2. So I'll try to divide d by 2, and till the time this is a non integral value. Right, and I will also run the loop. Let's say c is equal to c plus 1 that will store how many times that I have been able to divide t and within this two, this will keep on happening. So this will give me the highest power. Let's take an example. Let's say 48 is there. So if I divide it by two once, I will get 24 and this counter will go to 1. Correct. This counter will go to 1. C is equal to C plus 1. Then 24 by 2, I will again do and that will again set the counter for 24 by 2 again this will set the counter to 2 similarly 24 by 12 by 2 6 6 by 2 3 now 3 by 2 as soon as it gives me non integral value i will stop the counter correct so that's how we are going to proceed with it so this will give me the highest power we will call the function for each of the prime factors whenever, whenever we have identified that this is a prime factor we will call this function and this will give me the highest power so let's move to uh, write the code guys so let's start with the code so this program is about highest power of each factor correct now what to do next we should import the math library Now we will go about defining a function which will give me the power of each of the factors, prime factors, correct? So this is our function which I am going to define now. So over here I am taking the counter which will count the power of each of the prime factors so c is equal to 0 so i have it initiated this and i will keep it 0 for every prime factor so once this function will run once again then again c will be 0 and it will increase itself okay so we'll increase that as the power will increase of each of the prime factor right now what should we do we need to print that the number called j so this function will be called only when 
you are sure that it's a prime factor so i'm writing it down j is a prime factor so i want you to prime factor the other thing which is left is you need to find out the highest power to which it will go correct guys that's one thing so i will as discussed in the theory section so i will keep on dividing what happened this just to know guys right i should have what is this x okay I have missed one thing. I have not taken x, the input, the number from the user, which will be obviously an integer. Or something else happened over there. Not sure. Enter the number in which ways. So now I have taken the value of x into d, and I will keep dividing d by the factor, so that. the d will decrease and i will be able to reach to the count where it will so while d by j so while d by j that means till the time d which has got the value of x in it at this point of time is divisible by x but right? let's say 48 so 48 will be divisible by 3 once but it will not be divisible by Three every time, right? Forty-eight by three. It, the value, new value of d will be sixteen. But when will it? It will come once again. Then it will not happen. Why? Because sixteen will not be divisible by three. So hence the while loop will stop. Okay. And I will put the value of d as int of d divided by divided by j. so the new value so you can take the example 48 by 3 will happen over here and i will increase the counter as i have got i've been able to divide this 48 by my prime factor 3 or 2 at one point of at once at least right now see we are done with the while loop now and so in case of 48 so let's say take so in case of 48 being the number it will run four times right for two so in case of 48 it, it will run case of 48 for two it will run four times yes and for three it will run i'm not writing it on it will run four times that's what the purpose of this while function is now i am once i am done with it i need to print the power so the power is t is the power so in power in c we have got the highest power to which it can go power of what j j right correct so i hope it's okay so we have defined this function this will give me the power so i'm done with it now how will i proceed i will proceed with i will test first for i have have to manually check for 2 and 3 so i will try to test whether the number is divisible by 2 and i know that 2 is a prime factor so if it is divisible by 2 then i need to call this function of power and where it will go and i will find out the highest power of 2 in 48 correct guys now what so i will call this function power of 2 if it is divisible by 2 if it is not divisible by 2 let's say 25 in case of 25 it will not call this function right next is if x modulus 3 i will again do it for 3 and after 3 i will increase it by 2 so it will cover all the prime factors less than or equal to the greatest integer of under root of n the same theory the same logic that we applied for the prime number verification also right so x in root 3 now what i need to call power of 3 right so this will count 3 if it passes the test now i need to take care of the other prime factors apart from 2 and 3 now what i will do i will put j equal to 3 over here 
and will keep on appending j by 2. So mind it, since it's 3, the 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 2, 9, it will happen this way only, correct? Right, so, and I, I will go, let's say if I take a number 48, the maximum that I need to try is under root of 48 ka least integer, regulator integer function, which will be what? 6, correct? And in case of bigger number also, that will happen. So, I will increase this value by 2. And after increasing the value by 2, it's not that we are saying that every prime factor will be there. But, it will happen in the case of, so I, while j is less than, so this is the primary condition where what I am doing is, I am putting the limit to which j will happen, the, this thing j will increase. Correct. So, I will do this now. I hope it's okay. So, this is the limit. I hope you are taking this point into consideration. Let's say the number is 123. So, it will go till 11 only. So, obviously 123 is not divisible by 2. Right? It's not divisible by 2, but it's divisible by 3. So, after 3, it will check for other numbers also. 5, 7 and 9. But the limit is 11. It will go till only 11. And after that, we will not take every odd number after 3 into consideration. We will check for that also, whether the number is prime or not. Correct. So, not every odd number from 3 to 11 or 3 to whatever, the under root of x is a prime factor. So, we need to test for that also. Though, I will increase j by 2. So, before I start, once we are into the loop, I will test for j is equal to j plus 2. Right. So, next is... Yeah, I will have to check for the prime thing also, whether this j is prime or not, correct. So, we will apply the same logic as we did in the prime number thing. So, I will take k, which will be int of j under root. So, aap kisi bhi number ko prime dhoonne ke liye kya karte ho? Uske under root tak jate ho? Let's say, I know, don't know 47 is prime or not. So, what you do under root of 47 loge and you will check for all the numbers from 2 to under root of 47, obviously floor function. And if there is any 47 se cut gaya, to iska hai ki wo prime hai. a prime, then it means that it is not a prime. And if it is not a prime, then it means that it is not a prime. That's how it is. So, this is 0.5. This is the same thing that I told you. So, this is the limit that I am taking into consideration. Now, I will take a for loop and test whether this number plus 3 addition of plus, uh, plus 2 is actually prime or not for i in range 2 comma k correct so i will check if k modulus i equal to 0 then what I will increase this L. This is another, there is another counter that I have initiated to find out whether it has been divisible by any number within the range till the 2 till square root of the number that I am trying to find out whether the number is prime or not. Correct. L plus 1. Right. I hope I am doing it correct. Now what? If L is equal to 0. So, I will come out of the loop and try to find out whether L is 0 or not. If L is 0, that indicates that the number J is a prime number and we should call the power function once again. If it, if the value of L is more than more than 0, that means it's 1. That means it's not, it's not a prime factor, it's factor. So, hence I need not call the function. Once I am done with it that the, this number is a prime number, then I will test for another thing. This test will be about whether the number, let's say 7 is a prime number, right? But if 7 is divi 45 is divisible by 7, then only I need to call the power function. Else there is no point in calling the power function. Correct. Power J. I hope you are getting this logic. This thing, this indicates that the number is a prime number. Correct. And this is that the number is a factor of it. So, if I am calling 45, so 5 will be called, but 15 will not be called. Why? 15 is not a prime number and that has been indicated by the counter L. But 
uh, and uh, 15 is also 15 is divisible by 45 is divisible by 15 but it will not be called because i have already checked for prime thing once the prime test is done then i'm testing for the factor thing whether it is divisible by or it or not if 45 is not divisible by 15 then there's no point in calling the power function i hope you're getting my point right this is this entire thing is nothing but the prime thing prime factor thing whether a number k or whether number k is prime or not whether number j is prime or not sir right i hope we are done with it yes guys so i'm moving to the output thing let me run it guys so just a minute so i'm writing 48 as my first example output so 2 is a prime factor of it 1 is the power of 2 and 1 is the power of 3 so there seems to be some problem because the power of 2 is 4 power of 2 is 4 what is the issue the issue over here is 2 is the power of 1 so int of d by by j c is equal to c plus 1 that's correct it's not d by x d it's d by j correct let me run it once again i think it's sorted so i'm entering the number once again 48 so now it seems to be working perfectly fine right let's try for 1024 which we know that is 2 to the power 10 sorry so 1024 2 is a prime factor let's try for 36 which is 2 square into 3 square mm -hmm. oh, sorry. 2 square into 3 square 2 is a prime factor of 2 is the power of 2 and 2 is 3 2 is the power of 3 i have written off two times i believe so let me correct that also Now what? So let's clear it once more and try try with the solution once again. So let me try with 96 2 to the power 5 32 into 3 to the power 1 is 96. I hope you are done with it. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.